In the series of videos, we are going to talk about how to implement a data warehouse project using SQL data warehouse on Microsoft Azure and do data transformations using data factory. We are going to assume real time scenarios. So this is what the scenario is. You have on premise data sources like Oracle, SQL Server, Excel. It can be DB2, it, it can be anything. Just for the sake of this project, we are going to work on Oracle, SQL Server, and Excel. And then the data would be loaded onto the cloud, Microsoft Azure Cloud, using Data Factory. The Data Factory is basically a set of transformation techniques, ETL, in this case ELT, extract, load, and then transform the data from on-premise to on cloud and then load it on SQL data warehouse on cloud. So the first step would be to load the data from Oracle, SQL Server, Excel or all other sources using data factory to the staging area. This staging area is just basically a dump of everything what's there in the on-premise system. Next from the staging area we're going to transform and the transformation would be done using data factory pipelines again. We're going to talk about all this in, in the next few videos and then load it into a star schema. You may have to use SQL stored procedures on this it's SQL data warehouse server and then once this data set is ready in star schema it will be used by Power BI for reporting purposes. Now, those who are not familiar with Microsoft Azure Cloud, I would recommend you watching these set of videos. Go to Google and search for Microsoft Azure Do It Yourself and go to the videos section and this is your first getting started. So those who are not familiar with Microsoft Azure Cloud, please go here and watch this video, getting started videos on Microsoft Azure. And there are a good set of 20 videos which are going to tell you the basics of Microsoft Azure. So for all practical purposes for this tutorials, uh, I'm going to assume that you have a Microsoft Azure account and uh, you know the basics of Microsoft Azure and then here I'm going to show you in a practical live example how to go about doing a project on Microsoft Azure data transformation loading ETL project. Thank you for watching.